Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, when the earth was just young, God created the earth and the heavens. He created water and fish. He created the sky and birds. He created flowers, plants, and trees and mountains. Well, technically, he created everything. Then, he created something very special. The first two humans. Their names were Adam and Eve. When God made Adam and Eve, he gave them something special. A wonderful garden of fruits to eat. He called it the Garden of Eden. He told them that they could eat from any tree in the garden except this one, the Tree of Knowledge. But one day, Eve went over to the tree. She knew that she shouldn't eat the fruit from it, but she was curious. Suddenly, a snake appeared. It wasn't just a regular snake, it was a talking snake. He said, Are you sure God doesn't want you to eat this fruit? Eve said yes, because she told the snake if she did, she would die, and so would Adam. But the snake was starting to tempt her. He said, Oh, you won't die if you touch it. See? And if you eat it, it will make you wise, just like God. This convinced Eve to eat it, so she reached out for the fruit and grabbed it. Yes, Eve went and did it. She picked the fruit from that tree that she wasn't supposed to and shared it with Adam, and sin entered the world. Now, they didn't die, but God punished them out of the Garden of Eden forever. And so they were forced to leave the garden and live exile out in the wilderness for the rest of their lives. But they began obeying God again, and he blessed them with two sons, Cain and Abel. As they got older, Chain began to be jealous of his brother because God blessed him with a baby lamb. One day, Cain saw Abel and his lamb playing together. And he got very, very angry. So he decided to kill his brother. And that's exactly what he did. Now God was very disappointed in Cain for killing his brother and lamb, so he punished him out in the wilderness to start a family of his own. Now both Adam and Eve were very sad to have lost both of their sons, but God blessed them with a third child, whom they named Seth, whom they would help him serve God and love God too. So remember kids, if you don't want what happened to Adam and Eve or Cain to you, Remember this, when Satan comes to tempt you, say enough to him and run from your temptation.